This over here is a Venus flytrap. And these over here are Venus flytrap seedlings. And I'm going to explain to you in this video why your Venus flytrap seeds are fake. Now first off, there's two sides to what makes a Venus flytrap seed fake. First off is the part which I won't be talking about, but that part is where you actually get scammed and you generally find that on sites like Etsy, Amazon or eBay or Wish.com. Honestly, if you're buying seeds from there, it is 98% of the time going to be a scam. You're going to end up with sesame seeds or something else. So that's the first part of the fake seeds. But the part I will be focusing on is when you get Venus flytrap seeds and they actually end up growing and they do become real Venus flytraps, but they don't become the Venus flytrap that they're actually listed as. Let me explain. In this hobby, you actually get different types of Venus flytraps. Yes, they are all the same species, they are all the same genus, that is Dionia muscipula, and they will all look somewhat like this. They will all have a trap that closes, unless you get like one of the weird ones. But when I say the weird ones, what I'm referring to are the different types of cultivars. So what the hell is a cultivar? Well, a cultivar is something that makes a Venus flytrap unique, and that unique trait gives the plant a name that gets registered with the International Carnivorous Plant Society and that specific individual plant becomes a cultivar. For example, we have plants like B52. This guy is one of the biggest traps in the world and has pretty distinct red inner traps. We also have DCXL, which is one of the biggest Venus flower traps as well, but looks different to the B52. Besides them, we have plants like Schuppenstyle, which has a weird ridged leaf on it, which is really, really interesting. It's really windy. We have Akai Ryu, which means red dragon, and it's just a completely red Venus flytrap. You get Microdent, you get Dentate, you get Fuse Tooth, you get so many different types of Venus flytrap cultivars, which are all Venus flytraps, but something that makes them specific, as I explained, just like you have lots of dogs, but different dog breeds. It's a similar concept. So how does this actually tie into you buying fake seeds? Well, it's a little bit of a tricky one to explain to you guys, but I hope that I can explain it well enough. Now, as you guys just saw, those cultivars look really, really nice. As you guys can imagine, everyone, including myself, wants to have all of the different Venus flytrap cultivars but it is nearly impossible to get all of the Venus flytrap cultivars, right? So you could very easily go into Google and type this in Venus flytrap seeds for sale and you might find Venus flytrap cultivar seeds for sale. For example, Venus flytrap DCXL seeds, B52 seeds, Akairi U seeds. You may find seeds of cultivars that you really, really want and you think to yourself, well, let me buy the seeds because the babies that I get from it will be the exact cultivar that I want. Well, unfortunately, that's wrong. There's been so many times where people have contacted me telling me about their new cultivar seeds that they've got and how excited they are and have to break the bad news to them and say, I'm sorry, but they're not gonna be the cultivar. They will be similar, but not the same. And this is why. The only way that you can get cultivar Venus flytraps or Saracenia or Drosra, basically any type of carnivorous plant the only way that you can get the same cultivar of that plant is for the mother plant to reproduce asexually. That means without sexual reproduction, or in other words, vegetatively. If this plant were to divide by itself inside of its pot, and that little baby, you take it out and put it in its own pot, those two plants are gonna be an exact copy of each other. They will be a clone. And that is what you need when you want a Venus flower trap cultivar. The plants have to have the exact same genetics and DNA so that they can look the same and grow the same and literally be an exact copy. If you were to take some seeds, plant those seeds and let the plants grow up, you won't have a cultivar. You will have the offspring of two cultivars and that offspring is different to the parent plants. 
So why is that? Well, when any two living organism reproduces sexually, there is a process called meiosis that actually occurs. And what meiosis actually really is, is a change in the DNA that makes up the oocytes or the egg and the sperms or pollen, whatever you want to call it. There is a genetic change in them and the two different gametes form together and as you can see they're two different plants or animals or whatever they come together and make a new organism a completely different looking organism that is genetically different to both of the parents that is why the cultivar seeds are not going to give you a cultivar plant even though they will look similar to the parents it's the same in humans if a man and a woman has a baby, the baby will look similarly to the mother and the father, but it will also look like neither one of them entirely. It's just like combining two different primary colors. Let's say we took blue and we took red. If we combine them together, we get purple. Now, does purple look like red? Kind of. Does purple look like blue? Kind of. Does purple have its own color? Yes, but it doesn't look like each individual primary color. It's the same thing with sexual reproductive methods in all living organisms. I hope you understand now why when you get seeds that can only be reproduced sexually from a flower and pollen causing them to get fertilized and make little seeds that the seeds are not going to be exactly the same as the parents as the only way a seed can form is through sexual reproduction which has a genetic variation inside of it. And that is why your Venus flytrap seeds may be fake. Now, don't be thrown off. Obviously, those seedlings will be very unique. They will look similarly to the parents, but they won't be the cult of our parents. They will be very similar though. They will look nice and whatever, but don't get your hopes up too far. And make sure that you are actually informed on this topic before you go off and make some decisions. And unfortunately, in some cases, you might get scammed as well, which is what no one really wants. So I hope that you guys find that helpful. And um, if you have any questions, do let me know because I understand it can be quite confusing to explain to people who might not have a scientific background. So let's look at an example over here. As you guys can tell, this mature plant here has red inner traps and it's obviously a Venus flytrap. If we look at some seedlings that I got, you can see that this seed here didn't have a very red inside of the mouth. Most of them are pretty much yellow and green, but you have one over here that is also red on the inside of the mouth. And that's simply because it is genetically more similar to the pl mother plant, which is slightly redder in the mouth. But this plant here, which obviously came from seed, seed that is completely unrelated to this plant here, will never be the exact same plant as this one here because it came from seed. It is genetically different. It is absolutely in no way the identical same plant, even though they may have similarities in that their traps are red. However, this plant here is exactly the same as these plants down here. How do I know that? Well, this plant and this plant and that one and that one and that one all came from the exact same plant. I bought one pot of these plants and as you guys can tell over here, they make little babies asexually, they divide, and that means they are genetically identical. They are genetically the exact same plant, which means that if this was a cultivar, those babies would also be cultivars. They would be the exact same plant. And Venus flytraps actually do this quite a bit. Look how much it's dividing over here. So this one plant there, one plant there, another one down here. So as you guys can see, they do divide and that is the only way that you can get identical cultivar Venus flytraps. If you're growing them from seeds, like those guys, they won't be the same as these mother plants. Okay, so now that you understand 
that seeds don't give you cultivar plants. They give you similar plants which aren't cultivars. You may be wondering, well, how do you actually get a lot of cultivars from one plant? Because, you know, when they divide by themselves, it takes quite a while. Well, the ways that you can do that is through leaf cuttings, flower stalk propagation on a Venus flytrap, leaf pullings, and root cuttings as well. There's quite a few methods, different methods for different carnivorous plants. But if you can imagine taking a succulent, putting a leaf off, putting that succulent leaf into some dirt and letting, letting that leaf grow some roots, you get a new plant, a genetically identical plant because you reproduce that plant asexually. That is a similar concept with what you will have to do with most carnivorous plants. And if you guys wanna figure out how to actually do that, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be doing some leaf cuttings, root cuttings, some flower stalk propagations, all of that type of stuff on the channel in the next couple of months. Now, I hope that all of this has made sense to you guys. Don't be disheartened if you did buy Venus flytrap seeds and you were hoping for them to be a cultivar. Don't be disheartened. The seeds will be very interesting as well. And anyway, who doesn't want more Venus flytraps? If you do have questions, please just let me know in the comments below. I'm very happy to help out. It is a very simple process to understand when you start to grasp your mind around what's going on there. Genetic variation happens in almost all sexual reproductive cases and it is very normal. And it's actually the way in which, you know, animals and plants and stuff evolve over many millions of years to become what they are as we know it. Just know that your Venus flytrap seeds may not be cultivars. And if you want to get cultivars, you have to get them through cloning methods or vegetative propagation me methods. And that is it, guys. I hope that you found this helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.